In layman's terms, all a fire really is, is the transfer of electrons back and forth from ground state, which is its calm state, to excited state, which is its fast-paced state. Now, during this transition period, this is when wavelengths of light are created. And due to the varying different amounts of electrons in each type of atom, this creates a different colored wavelength of light for each flame. And I've kind of taken the time to compile a little bit of a list here. I, got, I went through multiple different sources to compile this entire list, and there's a lot of different elements that create distinctly colored flames. Now let's get this list a-going. We've got tin and lead create bluish, white-colored flames. Magnesium, titanium, nickel, hafnium, chromium, cobalt, beryllium, and aluminum create white-colored flames. Strontium, yttrium, radium, and cadmium create crimson-colored flames. Rubidium, zirconium, and mercury create red-colored flames. Lithium creates pink-reddish-colored flames. Potassium creates violet-colored flames. Selenium, indium, and bismuth create azure-blue-colored flames. Arsenic, cesium, copper, indium, lead, tantalium, cerulean, and sulfur create blue-colored flames. Phosphorus creates a pale greenish blue colored flame. Copper, non halide, and thallium create green colored flames. Boron creates a light green colored flame. Barium creates a green apple colored flame. Tellurium and antimony create pale green colored flames. Molybdenum and magnesium create green yellow colored flames. Sodium creates a bright yellow colored flame. Iron creates gold bronze colored flames. Scandium and iron create orange flames. Calcium creates orange to red flames. And that is the list of all of the elements that actually create a distinct colored flame.